everyone, it's Catherine again from ESLhelpers.com and today I just wanted to review or say in a different way um, the difference between will be doing and will have done. So these again are subtle differences um, in speaking but they are very important. So it's not like you can really use one for the other um, or else your meaning won't won't be clear. So it's very important that you practice these and that you are able to to understand the difference and can use the correct version or the correct tense when you need to. So your your key or your clues to this are the words will be will well, we have will and will. Both of these mean that the future is happening. So, will be doing, we know it's the future, and we have the ing ending, ing, which means continuous. So, this is the future continuous tense. So, it refers to something that I'll be doing in the future. So, for example, Tomorrow, I will be teaching another lesson. So, it hasn't happened yet, but at some time tomorrow, um, for an hour or something, I will be teaching. I'll be in the middle of teaching. All right. Now, will have done. Again, we have have the auxiliary verb and then the past participle done. So, it's in the future and it's completely finished. So we call this the future perfect. Um, it's totally finished. And not only is it finished, but it's it's been finished for a while. Okay? <laughs> so um, when we use the future perfect in this sense, we're saying that in the future, at a certain time, another action will be finished and have been finished for quite some time. So, for example, I can say, um, tomorrow at 3 p.m. I will have finished teaching. So, this means that not only will I have finished teaching, but it will be finished by, by quite a while. So, maybe I'll finish at 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. I'll be completely finished. So, will have done is the future perfect and it refers to something that will already be finished before another event happens. Okay, so I'm going to stop here for a minute um, and let you maybe take some notes or think about this and we will continue um, and just... Okay, so we're back and now what I'd like to do is do an example and let you try to um, change the example sentence into the future continuous or the future perfect. Okay, so our example sentence, which is simply in the, the simple present, he goes to the store. All right, so what I'd like for you to do is think about what elements would you need to take this same sentence and state it in the future continuous. All right, so you know you're going to need will be or will, well, usually we say will be, okay? Not always, but usually. Um, so he will be, and then you're going to have to take your verb and change it into the ing form, right? And then replace with the rest of the words in the sentence that maintain the meaning. So, you should get something like this. He will be going to the store tonight. So, tonight is in the future and he will be going to the store tonight. So, there's a moment in time this evening where he will be going. He will be right in the middle of going to the store. Okay. Now, that was the future continuous. Now, let's try with the future perfect. So, our example sentence is the same. He goes to the store. So now I want to change it into the future perfect. 
So I'm going to have to have the word will, and I'm going to have to have a past participle, right? And of course, my auxiliary verb have to make it the perfect. So what I should get is something like this. He will have gone to the store by tonight. Okay, so that's just a little review and a little bit of practice about the difference between the future continuous tense and the future perfect. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you next time.